Welcome this very Sunday morning. Nisarga here finally arrived to Tallinn and I am super enjoying the weather. It's so amazing summer weather. And um, I was driving by car from Poland, so I was uh, two days in a road, stayed in uh, Kaunas for one night. So I did uh, 1200 kilometers, broke to 600 each drive and I was really kind of happy and relieved when I was crossing border with Latvia and Estonia because really I was worrying that uh, how it's gonna be on the borders what's gonna be the situation and and just passing smoothly through Estonia was so uh, so so great for me so happy now here resting relaxing also preparing for the next courses we having uh, myofascial energetic release training this wednesday till sunday and then of course biodynamic breath and trauma release training 4th to 11th august and uh, particularly this life i would like to spend a moment on some q a that are coming over uh, to buy body awareness institute with uh, some questions about uh, BBTRS training so I will uh, try to respond to that questions if you guys also have some questions here now on live please feel free to um, ask me the questions about it so first question was please explain uh, August training in Maniku and um, the practicalities and logistics uh, so this training uh, will be held in Maniku south of Estonia if you go on our website uh, bodyawareness.e you will see a price for the course and then additionally price for accommodation so you can see what is uh, what are the details for this um, before you joining the training depending on which level you are signing up to you will be requested to um, watch some webinars that will be preparing you to anatomy of trauma, anatomy of breath, Reiki and, uh, body types, which is really essential part of the training that helps us understanding uh, deeper the work on trauma. So after you contact uh, with our uh, office, you will receive the links to these webinars when you can watch and uh, also send a quiz after watching webinars and this quiz will be checked and uh, you will pass those webinars there was a question also coming quite frequently uh, to us what is the difference between personal journey and becoming biodynamic breath and trauma release practitioner how many modules does that involve etc so uh, personal journey is usually when you come first time to the training when you want to work with yourself when you come and you having some unresolved issues maybe emotional or physical related to your body mind uh, and you would like to work it out you'd like to go deeper into yourself and find out what is the cause of uh, those troubling uh, events in your life how you can resolve it how you can go to the core of it and unwind and start relating in a more healthy way now the practitioner training is when you repeat those modules four times so uh, the training is consisting on four modules at the moment which is still uh, in group room modules very shortly we are also creating a new training which will be online training which will be announced very very soon will be uh, founded with three online courses and two training in group room but this is uh, this is this will be announced from uh, very soon and will be starting in September until now it's still the formula is that we um, are doing four modules in group room for practitioners uh, training now what is the difference between practitioner BBTRS and individual journey that in case of practitioners because you're coming fourth time you, uh, you are really learning very deeply about how to work with trauma how to hold the space for for people and that requires really a lot of uh, time and 
uh, commitment because we want people who are really certified with biodynamic growth and trauma release really certification really know what they're doing. It's not something casual that we just, um, you know, work with people. Trauma work is a very sensitive work that uh, requires a lot of professional professionalism and deep understanding of many different skills related to body work, breath work, touch, meditation, uh, sound expression, movement, and of course all the um, trauma uh, psychology. So that, that understanding of full, uh, full training requires uh, four modules that will help people to um, uh, hold the space for others. But in this training also what happens that you yourself going very deeply into resolving your own uh, issue, your own stories, your own past uh, events. So I noticed for many people coming over to our institute within a few years how much they change, how much they transformed. And so the becoming a practitioner of BBTRS also helps uh, people who are on the journey go through very deep, profound transformation with the process. Another question that came to us was what is the difference between, for example, biodynamic breath uh, and release modality or rebirthing? So, for example, in biodynamic breath and trauma release uh, method, we are focusing on trauma release. This is our main focus. We are bringing somatic awareness of felt sense through the breath, through the movement, through the expression. We are keeping our session on, on soft level of charge so the person who is engaged with the session stay present to their expression. That is basically helping to reconnect to those uh, emotions or feelings that might be challenging to be expressed from some traumatic uh, event or accident that's still creating fight or flight results in the body releasing adrenaline and other hormones that keeps our body in state of anxiety or stress when we start completing that in in mindful way slow way uh, with the felt sense awareness, we start completing that cycle of fight or flight and that helps us to shift to um, parasympathetic nervous system ventral vagal complex when we can stay more present to reality, when we are not anymore in the movie of the past seeing uh, that uh, the, the past events are kind of recognized for us or perceived as a, as a present. What we are aiming for is completing that cycle and being able to look in reality as it is without this past traumatic charge to that event. So basically we are deattaching the past story with the present moment and being able to stay present to ourselves. And for example, with rebirthing uh, modality, the focus is slightly different. The focus is more on entering the alter conscious states when we are charging, 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 and then at some point we kind of uh, going into alter states of mind or, or also body when there's so much energy that we kind of um, checking out in some ways and reaching an amazing uh, experience, blissful experience out of the body, but, uh, but there's no often anchor into the body. There are no tools to anchor in the body. Biodynamic breath and trauma release anchoring everything into the body. Everything starts in the body. Of course, it's not only about body, but if we treat body as a main temple, as a main container, so we really pay attention and stay focused uh, in this therapy to be present to here and now, to feel the body sensation, what's happening in my hand, when the wind blows on my body, where do I feel it on my body, which part of the body might be disassociated, disconnected, most likely those disassociated parts of the body, this is where traumatic emotions get stuck, frozen, this interrupted. And by bringing awareness into those places, by 
breath, movement, sound, we are awakening our body and aligning our body, bringing our body to completion so it becomes one element, one fluid, watery element. Fourth question that was coming up for us is which traumas are, not, are underrated in the healing work? I think that very often the underrated traumas for people are birth traumas. I know often people coming with tremendous uh, traumas related to birth, either premature birth or forceps or suction or, um, or even caesarean, and, but they don't know because I think those birth traumas are the first one that we even don't remember. We even have no idea. We, we sometimes even don't uh, ask our parents how was our birth or our mothers were so uh, difficult time during this time that they don't even recollect that it was problematic. They also might have shut down the memories of this experience because it was too traumatic. And so because we don't remember uh, and we don't know, we think like nothing happens. And sometimes people ask me, I had such a beautiful childhood, loving parents, siblings, everything was okay. And still I'm holding something into my body. There is still this armoring that I cannot express or I have uh, the pains in my stomach or I cannot breathe fully because my diaphragm is contracted. And so we don't remember those events and we think like, it's nothing happened at that time. And I think this birth traumas is the first traumas that we often face coming out of this world. For many of us, uh, you know, coming from this warm, safe, secure womb that we grew for uh, many, many months, now all of a sudden coming into the light, uh, you know, in the hospital in the past, the, the the way that ch the children was brought were, was quite um, intense. You know the stra uh, you know the strong lights and all these uh, uh, doctors and nurses. And uh, very often the child was first thing the, the, there was uh, you know slapped to start crying actually to activate the breathing uh, apparatus. So. For many of us, this could be uh, a reason why we hold on to those traumatic events. So this was some of the questions that were coming up. One more was a uh, question to me. Do you receive BBTRS session regularly yourself? I used to receive a lot of uh, breath work. Now I do uh, give myself breath work sessions. It's not fully biodynamic breath and trauma release. I don't have a session holder often with me that supports me through the touch, through the movement, but I, but I do breathe myself each day uh, for some time. So in this sense, I do receive breath work sessions um, regularly. For me, it's a part of my daily routine, part of my meditation and part of keeping my energy uh, on a high level and my body in shape, in good fluidity. So I'm really grateful for your questions. They were very interesting uh, questions. If you have more questions, please write uh, to us on Body Awareness Institute and we will be happy to uh, respond more. We have training coming up very soon, 4th to 11th August in Maniku, super beautiful place with oak trees. We breathe often outside if there is no rain, like here in this park under the oak tree, a lot of fresh air, oxygen. We have at the moment uh, I think about 15 participants, five of them coming from abroad. Hopefully everything is gonna be fine. If you want to join us, please still uh, do. It's gonna be incredible seven transformative days. So welcome to join us for Biodynamic Breath and Trauma Release Training in Manuku, 4th to 11th August. Send you much love and have extraordinary Sunday. Bye-bye for now.